Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back for another One Take Bag Review. We got a fun one today. Check out this bad boy. This is a Project Rock duffel bag backpack from uh, Under Armour. And it's in this really cool kind of galaxy green or yellow and blue greenish um, galaxy splatter colorway, we'll call it. I like it a lot. Uh, had to get this one when I saw it. Um, so what is going on here? Um, quite a bit. You know what we do on this channel. One take bag reviews where we walk through the full exterior and interior of the bag, all the pockets, all the nooks and crannies, the things that make this bag unique. Then we talk about two things that we love about the bag, two things that not so much, and then an overall review. Should you buy this bag? Let's dive in. All right, so first off, you can see a ton of attachment points on this bag on the front. You've got uh, four rows of uh, molly webbing that you can attach bags. I always slip, just slip junk into there. I've got some pins and a flashlight. Um, you have a water bottle pocket on the side, and in this bottle, I have uh, just a kind of medium sized, the smaller version of the hydro flask. Um, this actually will fit quite a bit more, and it's got some good stretch to it. So. Good pocket on the side here. You've got uh, daisy chain uh, looping down the side here on both sides for more attachment points. Um, this is a uh, kind of nylon bottom of the bag, so very nice. And then a cordura material on the, the whole exterior here. You have a big giant zipper pull here in a second, I'll show you. You've got two grab handles on top that are snapped together with a closure. On the side, you have a carry handle. And on the back, you have um, two really nice straps um, that are padded, good back that is padded, and the straps are kind of floating at the top. Um, kind of spaces them off your shoulder just a little bit. Um, uh, resizable straps, of course, and uh, quite a bit of branding. You have a uh, bull, which is a Project Rock symbol, or rock symbol, blood, sweat, respect, Project Rock training with the dimensions and 21.9 liter capacity. There's a lot going on, but it kind of fits with the bag, right? There is a lot going on in this bag. This bag is not about subtlety. All right, so let's talk pockets. Well, we talked about the water bottle pocket first. There is no pocket on the front of this bag. Not a hidden pocket, no zipper, no, no nothing. So no pocket on the front. You have a main compartment on the top here, so we'll unclick these snaps, and you can see it kind of balloons up here a little bit. And then we'll flip this around. You have a pretty cavernous compartment here, okay? Now, this is intended, this is a gym duffel bag, so this is waterproof um, and hopefully smell proof, but this is intended for you to toss in your shoes, change of clothes, dirty clothes, etc., separated from the main compartment so that your stinky old stuff is not in the same compartment as your laptop, etc. I'm not going to use this for the gym. No comments about me going to the gym. Um, but what I have used it for is a really nice kind of second main compartment here. So I've tossed in a little grab bag sack with tech in it, little grab bag sack with first aid equipment, and a little grab bag sack with all my cords. So this compartment is about big enough, you can see here, it's big enough to put a pair of shoes and a change of clothes. Okay, so it's a really nice space, honestly, and it's got this kind of funky yellow zipper thing going on that I really like. So it's not a waterproof zipper, it's not a waterproof bag, but it is really nice. And you've got a lot of space in here. Not too shabby. Let's flip around to the second pocket of two. There's only two pockets, okay? Oh. See, I forgot a pocket. There are three pockets. You also have a sunglass pocket. It is felt lined. It is tiny. So I've tossed my usuals in there, AirPods, pocket knife, wallet, 
That's it. It is about big enough for one pair of sunglasses. So it's, it's nice. It's on the top. It's nice. It's also kind of forgettable, as you can see, because I forgot it. All right, back compartment. Now, you can see here what I'm doing. You run the zippers with these kind of O-shaped pulls all the way down the whole back component of the bag. And then it opens up like, like this, okay? So it full clamshell. If that's something that is important to you or that you enjoy about a backpack, it does kind of open with a full clamshell. On this side of the bag, there is nothing. This is not a pocket. This is your front pocket where the shoes were. And this is not a pocket. That's your felt sunglasses pocket. So there is no extra um, pocket or attachment points or anything. It's just a big open compartment. Not a bad thing, just for you to be aware. On the back side, you have a little slightly stretchy drop pocket here with a zipper. You have a tablet pocket. This is an 11 inch iPad Pro in a Magic Keyboard. And then you have a laptop compartment for a 15 inch laptop. So up to a 15 inch laptop. The laptop compartment itself has a felt lining and is very padded, very padded. The whole thing is in this high contrast yellow. Uh, and it works well. So, let's talk about this extremely unique backpack. So, two things that we like about this bag. First off, like always, I really respect a bag maker that is going to try some crazy colorways. And this is a crazy colorway. Now, a lot of people wouldn't like this exterior pattern. I happen to love it. I think it's super cool. Um, but what I'm really interested in is the contrasting materials, the high contrast interior carried forward through every single pocket, and then the uh, exterior details not being the same color as the exterior fabric. So if this was another maker, potentially this would be in coyote tan, and this would be in, you know, olive green, OD green. So I like it, or black with uh, dark gray, uh, but I like when the, the strapping and details on the on the bag's exterior are a different color than the bulk of the material. And I also really enjoy when the interior is a high contrast material so that you can find your gear. All right, so that's the first thing. The commitment to unique colorways that, that Under Armour carries through all their stuff. Love it. The second thing that I really enjoy about this bag is actually... And I didn't expect this. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't expect this. I thought this looked kind of weird. I'm used to this being the other way around. So I'm used to this kind of shoe compartment slash clothes compartment being down here. And you kind of open up the bottom of the bag, wedge everything in there, and then it robs space from the bottom of the main compartment. This is a complete reversal of that. It still robs space from the main compartment, but it robs space from the top of the main compartment, which is really unique because then you can still put all your crap down in the bottom of the main compartment where gravity kind of carries it anyway. Yeah, that's interesting to me. So what's robbed is the empty space in the top of the compartment that isn't being utilized anyway. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't carry heavy gym shoes with me. So Maybe I wouldn't like that if I had a couple of high top, you know, basketball shoes to stuff in here, but I don't, so I do, because this does work absolutely perfectly for pouches. So if you are a kind of bag within a bag person and you've got some pouches that you like to carry, then yeah, that works. It works well, honestly. So those are two things that I really like. I like the duffel portion on the top of this bag. I think it's really unique and I love seeing, you know, a risk taken by the manufacturer and then I like the colorway. What do I not like? Well, a couple of things. The first thing I don't like is that on the interior of this bag that we didn't do any kind of customization options. You see the Molly panels on the front of the bag and I just, 
I think they missed an opportunity to slap a few on the interior so that you could, if you wanted to, add some customization inside the bag. It doesn't really take anything away from people who don't want to, but I think they could have carried that kind of utility look, tactical look, through the interior of the bag. I think it would have um, really gone a long way to separate this bag and make it even more special than it is. Second thing that I don't like so much about this bag, well, it's, it's kind of a tough one because I'm glad that they included it, but it's the lack of exterior pockets. Um, the two main compartments are interesting. The sunglass pocket is kind of forgettable as I mentioned. And then you've got this whole entire front piece right here that they could have very easily just slipped a side pocket on to give you one more exterior pocket that you can access from outside the bag. Feels like a miss. You could toss a drop pocket right there. You could toss a zippered pocket right there. I don't know. Not sure why they didn't do it. So, sunglass pocket, I'm glad they included it, but it's kind of meh, and then no other exterior pockets on the bag at all. All right, so that's the overall walkthrough and the two things that I like and the two things that I don't like about this bag. Overall recommendation, should you buy this bag? Well, hmm. If you're looking for something funky, uh, I think that this might be right up your alley. Um, but there's so much to recommend in this space. So the bag retails for $85. I got it on sale for about $50. Am I glad that I did? I don't know. I don't know. I think my overall recommendation is Get it if you love the unique colorways that it comes in. The white one, by the way, is really cool. Like, check that out, it's really cool. I like this colorway too, and I like the interior. So, I think I recommend this as a gym bag, but I don't recommend it as an everyday carry bag. There's just too many better options in this price range, uh, even though it hurts me because I do just absolutely dig this colorway. All right, Under Armour. Good stuff. Thank you for making a really unique bag, and I'm glad I got a chance to review it, and I'm glad, I'm glad that it's in my collection. All right, everybody, if you liked the review, please, as always, like the review, share it if possible, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for another cool one-take bag review. Bye-bye.